Hey, hello. As promised, I would uh, like to talk about fats today, and I chose to do it on a walk. So I'm out walking here, and um, I would like to talk a little about fats. And, and this is a short post in the sunlight. And let's see if we can hide some of the sunlight. Um, that it's a short video on fats, and this is about what fat you should be eating and what fat you should be avoiding. So, these fats are super, fat is super important for your diet, being it um, both for health and for weight loss. Whatever your goal is, you need fat. The all the the old knowledge of fats make you fat. It's not true. If you don't have fat, you cannot burn fat, or it's very hard at least. So we need fats, and I would like to talk about which fat you should uh, avoid and which fat you should definitely stick to and have in your diet. This is super important for you having a, a nice, healthy, a fantastic working body. And with the fat, we're teaching the body to burn more fat, being it what we've eaten or what we have on our body, our natural storage capacity for dense calor calories. So, what fats should you avoid? You should avoid all trans fats. This is super important. Stay off all these bad, pre-made, hard, processed fats. These fats are all um, corn fat, uh, uh, vegetable fats, vegetable oils are super, super, super bad. And the worst one, from my point of view, as a nutritionist and a um, as a chef and nutritionist, margarine. This is the worst product that's ever been invented. It has a very, very long shelf life, and it is very, very, very good for storing and storing body fat on your body as well. If you would like something like margin, then just use butter. It tastes better, it's better for your health, your diet, for everything. So, stay off the, the canola oil, the sunflower oil, and all these uh, very, very bad oil. There's one oil that's a little in between. I'm not super convinced that it's a good one that's the peanut oil some people say it's good some people say it's bad but as a whole food don't eat the peanut but some people say that you can have the peanut oil i'm not sure so i don't use it i stay away from it. the only place where i get my peanut oil is sometime when it's mixed in with sesame oil this is where it's sometime i use it but that's the only place where i use it so the good fats, the good fats are avocado, being it from avocado oil or from uh, plain up uh, uh, avocados, coconut and coconut oil are fantastic for, for, for your health and, and for everything. So stay with the, with the coconut oil and the olive oil. I love olive oil. I'm here in the wine country of France right now. and. And, and they make fantastic olive oil down here. It's very good. And just on, we're not that far from, from Spain. And in just on the other side of the border here, and two hours from here, an hour and a half from here, we're in, in Spain. And, and it's fantastic olive oil here as well. This countryside is very, very fantastic, filled with olive oil. And virgin first press, cold press olive oil are fantastic your go-to oil or at least that's mine my secondary oil is um is um what's it called avocado oil and the third one is macadamia oil these are the three that i use the most and then my stable fat for everything is butter and the coconut oil i mix in wherever i can i like it a lot it's in my sometimes in my coffee but a lot of the time it's in my smoothies, it, it's, I use it as a little sweetener and, 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 and all these things. So stay away from all the bad fats. That's the, that's the, the, 
the vegetable oils they're very not good for for your body and 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 the, this is the way they end up processed and that's trans fats and all these very very bad fats that that get into your body and your body cannot absorb it so a lot easier it gets stored as body fat and this is this is no good for any of us but the main thing isn't that much weight loss it's general health with you when you have the the the, the bad fats the vegetable oils and the and the and 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 the trans fats it's it's super hard for you it gets you more inflamed your workouts and your training won't work as well because you will be easier inflamed and 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 it's not that good for you when you have all this inflammation it's hard to burn fat and you see stay away from the trans fats so let's take a quick review on this use the good fats that's the olive oil extra virgin olive oil avocado macadamia natural uh, oils from fat almond are okay as well it's just very tasty i don't use it that much and um, it's very windy here um, and um, stay away from the vegetable oils the margin and um, and all these very 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 bad things if you would like help with getting your nutrition lined up so it fits your lifestyle without co counting macros and, and 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 getting all this moving into a more natural state of 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 energy and, and flow then join my uh, closed facebook group i'll have a link right here underneath the video being it on the website or uh, here on facebook or wherever you find this video i will have a link right underneath here so uh, join the group where i'll help you personally to achieve your goals being it weight loss or energy or health so thank you very much for watching this and share it if you know anybody who would like this thank you bye